Hey folks, Kayak DIY here, and in this episode, I'm going to make you a believer in inflatable paddle boards. I've owned several inflatable paddle boards, and when people hear the word inflatable, they instantly think there's no way they're durable. But that's simply not true. I have owned body glove paddle boards and aqua marina paddle boards, which are two big name paddle boards in the industry. Uh, they're awesome. They come in a backpack. They could easily fit in small cars. You could transport them on a moped if you had to, or a motorcycle, or a bicycle. Or take your body glove paddleboard on a plane and fly to wherever you want. They weigh almost nothing. I'm lifting this paddleboard up with one hand. They weigh roughly 23 pounds and they hold roughly on average 320 pounds. I love how they paddle. I've had as many as eight or so just in the back of my truck. Um, so that's in itself is pretty impressive. And let's take a look at this durability test. The board that I'm about to run over is not a brand new board. It is actually the board that I've owned for the last two years and this board has sat in the Florida heat on my back dock for roughly seven to eight months inflated. I made sure that it was inflated to 15 psi and then we ran over it. By golly, we couldn't destroy it. Let's try that again. Check it out, it's the new tire track theme one. So this is the sawhorse test. Whether you weigh 20 pounds or 195 pounds, the board has very little flex. So the board obviously isn't puncture proof, but it is very resistant to punctures. I have bounced the board off of oysters, sharp rocks. Here I'm dropping a knife on it absolutely no concerns of it causing a leak. I've never actually had a leak on the board. Most inflatable paddle boards that you buy are going to come looking like this. You have a bag, you have a board, and you have a pump, and sometimes it comes with a paddle too. You end up opening up the valve, you connect up the pump, and then you pump up to the recommended PSI that is in the owner's manual. Usually that is around 15 PSI. If you don't think you can do the hand pump, you can use this electric pump that I show here. I have this electric pump linked in the video description below so you can find it easily. When you're pumping up with a hand pump, it takes roughly three minutes on average to get to the recommended PSI. You then put the cap back on, you connect up your leash, you get your paddle ready, maybe get yourself some water, and on this particular board, it even came with a cell phone case. That's pretty cool. If you need more storage, you can use a dry bag and tuck it up under the bungees. Lifting the board is pretty easy because it's only 23 pounds. I can actually run with it over my head. So now we're on the board, and what I can tell you is these boards are quite quick. They hold a decent amount of weight. Here I have two people on, and when you're done with your adventure, you simply open up the valve, press down, it'll deflate, and usually in the Florida heat, it makes the board warm enough that it rolls up nice and easily and goes back into the bag, with no problems. So hopefully by now, I made you somewhat of a believer in inflatable paddle boards. If so, check out the links in the video description. I have all of the recommended paddle boards that I like listed there.